Hello and welcome to the briefing for the 29er Typhoon Trophy which will be at Grappen Water Sailing Club on the 5th and 6th of June. My name is Ian Bullock and I'm the race officer. I'd like to start with a few thank yous. First of all to Typhoon for sponsoring the event, to Grappen Water Sailing Club for hosting it and for putting in lots of help and support beforehand and finally to all of the volunteers who will be helping on the water over the weekend. Without all of those people this event just simply couldn't go ahead. As we come out of COVID, a few things are going to be a little bit different. First of all, this is the briefing. There won't be another one in person at the event. Secondly, all of the notices will be online. There won't be a notice board at the venue. On the official notice board, you'll find the major event instructions or the MEIs. Now this is quite a big document, but well worth becoming familiar with as it doesn't change from event to event. You'll also find the SSIs or supplementary selling instructions now they do change from event to event, but they're very short, only one page in this case, that's giving you the colours of the marks and things like that. For this event and for future 29 events, we're going to be using Telegram as a messaging system. Telegram is just like WhatsApp, but has a bit of privacy and some other advantages. There'll be two channels, a broadcast channel, which the race committee can use to transmit to the competitors, and a queries channel, which competitors can use to ask questions of the race committee. All I ask is that you do use that one sparingly so that important messages do get through. There are links there to allow you to join those groups, but they're also in the back of the MEIs. So for a slightly closer look at the course, if you've done any 29 races before, this will be very familiar, but if you haven't, get, please get to know it. focusing on the start initially. So the start line will always be orange flag to orange flag. For this event we will be using a mark. Future events may well use a in boat instead. And we always start with either uniform or black flags as the preparatory signal. So what that means is if you're in the triangle formed by the line and the first mark in the last minute before the start you will be disqualified as either UFD or BFD. If you're not familiar with the difference, you should definitely look that up in case we have a general recall. So you really want to be out of that triangle by the time those flags are removed. The finish will be blue flag to blue flag, as shown here. All I ask here is that you watch out for that blue flag coming down and the orange flag going back up, we tend to not wait too long between the last bit finishing and going back into sequence. I'd also like to just talk about the Charlie board. So if you see this symbol displayed on a board at one of the marks, usually the lured gate, accompanied by some continuous sound signals, it means that we're moving the next mark. And there'll be a symbol with this board telling you what's going to happen. So green triangle means it's gone to the right, gone to starboard. Red square to the left. Plus means it's getting longer. The minus is getting shorter. But please note that we may not have completed the move by the time you go around the mark. We may even lay a new mark and then remove the old one afterwards. So the key there is don't overcommit yourself until you're sure where the mark is going to be. Okay, that's all from me. Final thing is just to say good luck and I look forward to seeing you on the water.